shi yasa kamar ku kwanaki an kawo wani yaro anan yana fama da rashin lafiya na malaria mun yi kokari ko mu tura shi gari bayan mun rubuta takarda mun tura shi general hospital so yaron daga karshe dai kafin su ce za su tafi gari su je a musu komai da komai sai yaron ya rasu akwai abin da ya faru cikin kwanaki amma ba a nan an gwam ba mace da ta zo aihu wa dai ta rasa ranta da shike a gida ta aihu ta ta fara ne da zuban jini kafin a ce za a tattara zuwa asibiti jinin jikinta ya riga ya zuba ya kare in north east nigeria there is a health emergency of epic proportions the vast majority of the women and children who desperately need healthcare services rely on primary healthcare centers for these services however poor infrastructure lack of skilled manpower and an acute shortage of drugs have made it impossible for them to access quality care resulting in the worst infant and maternal mortality statistics in the entire country the primary health care has suffered a lot of setback the challenges you know ranges from inadequate human resource inadequate skill baths attendants at these facilities very dilapidated infrastructures the buildings are just not there the essential commodities are not there the drugs are not there and because of that services are like not rendered much to address this situation the federal government supported by the world bank is implementing a revolutionary approach to primary healthcare delivery through the nigeria state health investment project nship Enship is an innovative financing mechanism for primary healthcare which aims to finance results using the performance based financing a method also known as PBF under the PBF process health facilities are paid based on the volume of delivery of pre agreed health services and the achievement of approved standards of quality of care previously we will measure performance and uh, well-being in the sector using input how much money are we putting how many doctors are we employed how many nurses are there how many buildings are we erected but to me they, they do not really tell a good story as to how well that that really sector has performed so we are looking at a different performance we are looking at productivity of the human resources there we are looking at um, patient satisfaction we are looking at um, the usage of the facility attendance and so on. so we are using many things together uh, and to me this is what makes enship unique what enship aims to do with pbf is to put the funds directly in the hands of the health facilities therefore they decide how they want to use it to service delivery in the course of uh, several decades in the health sector we've had challenges with um uh, governance and accountability we had issues with human resource availability financial resource availability even infrastructure uh, was a problem so a lot of health facilities did not have operational funds so for instance if there's a leaking roof who fixes it it takes forever if you're going to wait for the state or you know uh, the federal government to fix a, a, a roof but with the availability of funds dedicated for operational use uh from this project it is now possible for the health worker to uh to manage you know in a very autonomous manner the challenges that they face at that level without recourse to uh bureaucratic processes that delays uh the ability of the health facilities to address uh, pressing problems This is not the first time PBF will be implemented in Nigeria. In 2013, in an effort to speed up progress on reducing preventable maternal and child deaths in Nigeria, Enship was introduced and piloted in Ondo, Nasarawa, and the northeastern state of Adamawa. The improvement in health indices in these three states shortly after the introduction of Enship was dramatic. Following the remarkable successes recorded in these three states, the federal government and the World Bank have now decided to scale up the program to cover the entire northeastern states of Bauchi, Gombe, 
Taraba, Bonu, and Yobe, and the total of $154 million will be injected into their respective health sectors in the next three years. Most of the health officers are already excited about the program. They plan to use their funds to renovate their facilities, procure drugs, and motivate the staff to work even harder so they can earn more and do better. For many of these overworked and under-motivated staff, Enship is an answer to prayers. The autonomy has given them that feeling of ownership, we do it, we get the gain, we improve on our services, more people come to the clinic, more services are given, more bonuses are, are gotten and there we go. I think innovation is what we need. Innovation is what we have done. You know, so we have to do things differently. And this is what Enship has done. You know, doing things differently. As governments, donor agencies and organizations come together to rebuild the Northeast, Enship aims to restore life into the health sectors of these various states through performance-based financing. The hope is that the same success that was recorded in the original pilot states will be repeated here, thereby reversing the tide and changing the health indices of Northeast Nigeria for the better.